It's finally here, everyone. The game that we have all been waiting for, Fallout 4. Welcome, everyone, to my first episode of the Let's Play. I'm going to do a quick prelude to this video and to this entire series. So if you guys want to watch it, do. I'm going to actually announce a giveaway here in a second. So if you want a, or if you want to win a copy of Fallout 4 on the PC, then stay tuned for that. But if not, I'll put text on the screen telling you guys when to skip to if you just want to get into the gameplay. So, the prelude, and I'll try to get through this as quick as possible if you just want to get into the gameplay. One, this is going to be a spoiler-friendly Let's Play, at least for the first, like, five or seven or six episodes. Just until I feel many people have caught up and at least have passed me in the story. And how I'm going to do that is when there is a cutscene or a moment in the game that will spoil something, I will put a timestamp, you know, a few seconds before that happens, either in the top left corner or maybe the bottom corner or something. Just check the corners or the outside of the screen for a little timestamp of where you can skip to if you do not want it to be spoiled. And I'm doing this for the people out there who want to watch Let's Plays and want to see gameplay, but don't want the story spoiled. I'm only going to do it for the first couple of episodes, like I said, until, you know, enough people have caught up. And if you don't care, you don't need to do anything about it. But, you know, the beauty of Fallout 4 and the beauty of Bethesda games is that no one's experience, no one's Let's Play of the game is the same. Something that I see and experience in my Let's Play, you might not see and experience in yours. And that's why I like watching other people's Let's Plays of Bethesda games is because, one, you know, you can see stuff they do and maybe you might do it, especially if I find a neat gun or some cool armor or a really cool place to, to explore. You can obviously go out and do it in your game. And two, you also get to see, you know, the choices that I make throughout the game, which I just think as a viewer is pretty cool to see. Speaking of spoilers, just be careful, at least for the first couple of days in the comment section. Now, I'm going to try to do my best to delete comments of people trying to spoil the game, but I'm sure it's going to happen. So just be careful, whether it's on YouTube comments, on like the Steam forum posts, even Reddit. I think sometimes people are trying to, you know, just spoil the game for you. So just a heads up if you don't want anything spoiled, just be careful. The third thing I want to say is that I am going to be starting this uh, this Let's Play on the PS4, but I will be transitioning to the PC once it does release. If you guys didn't know, I got the game early. Obviously, I couldn't get PC early. I could only get console. So about like episode 5, 6, or 7 or so, I will switch to PC, and obviously the game will look a lot better, and I will start using mods once they do come out to just improve you know, the gameplay and my experience. So if the details, the shadows, the graphics aren't the greatest at the beginning, just know that's why. Or if the frame rate's not the best, that's why as well. And when I do switch to PC, I'll try and make the choices the exact same and like the perks and all that stuff that I choose that I did on console. So it's kind of just a continuation just on the PC. And then finally, the last thing I wanted to say before I get into the giveaway, I'm playing this on survival mode. If you didn't know what survival mode is, basically it is. One, I think, spawns more legendary enemies, which can give you better guns, but they are also harder to kill. And it also makes stim packs and other healing items do it slower, if I remember correctly. I'm going to see how it goes. Hopefully, it's not too bad. And if anything, I'm sure there'll be a mod to fix it on PC, you know, once it does come out. So that is it. Now, into the giveaway before we get into the Let's Play. All you have to do is two things. One, be a subscriber, and then two, leave a comment on this video. It doesn't matter what you leave as long as it's a comment, and in a few days, I will pick a winner. So that is it, and without wasting any more of your time, let's finally get into the Let's Play. Whoo, here we go. War. War never changes.
in the year 1945, my great-great-grandfather, serving in the army, wondered when he'd get to go home to his wife and the son he'd never seen. He got his wish when the U.S. ended World War II by dropping atomic bombs on Hiroshima and Nagasaki. The world awaited Armageddon. Instead, something miraculous happened. We began to use atomic energy not as a weapon, but as a nearly limitless source of power. People enjoyed luxuries once thought the realm of science fiction. Domestic robots, fusion-powered cars, portable computers. But then, in the 21st century, people awoke from the American dream. Years of consumption led to shortages of every major resource. The entire world unraveled. Peace became a distant memory. It is now the year 2077. We stand on the brink of total war. And I am afraid. For myself. For my wife. For my infant son. Because if my time in the army taught me one thing, It's that war, war never changes. Man, that was, that was pretty damn awesome. All right, we in the, is this, is this us? All right. We get to make our character now. War never changes. You're going to knock him dead at the veterans hall tonight, hon. You think? Absolutely. Now get ready and stop hogging the mirror. Right. Okay, so uh, if you're like me, anything like me at all, you're probably going to spend at least an hour on your character. I honestly don't know. There's so many options here. Let's see. We can have... There's different, like, cust or set faces. I don't know. I like the first one, honestly. And then we can obviously hit X and we can start sculpting our face. I think there's color. You can change. Let's see. You can do the hair. You can even change like the style if you hit X on it. There's a lot. Although some of them are kind of... <laughs> I don't know, man. So many options. Let's see, you can do like ears, I think. You like you can do there's like look at this. There's so many options though. You can do your neck down here, really? You can have a type of neck? There's my strapping husband. Huh, that's pretty neat. Let's see, you can actually do your body type as well. You can be muscular, you can be large or thin. Let's see, for extras, I think there are, yeah, you can put like markings, blemishes and stuff. Here's damage. Oh, some, oh, damn. Yo, you can be Joker in here. Look at that. That'd be a pretty fun character, I think. <laughs> Freaking, <laughs> just a crazy psychopath, basically. All right, let's, uh, here, I'll check out the, the woman. Turn, big guy. Let's see what we can do on her. Um, body, same thing. Let's see. This is the styles of the hair. There's a there's a good amount. Uh, what I'm gonna go ahead and do though, I'm gonna be a male character for at least this playthrough, and I'm gonna go ahead and make my guy, and then I will be right back. This is probably going to take me a long time. <laughs> 
So I was about 10 minutes into making my character when I realized that in like 5 or so episodes, I'm going to be going to the PC anyway, so it doesn't really matter. So I'm just going to go with the default guy, and then we're going to get into the story. Yes, confirm. Is that it? Okay. Oh, look at our house. Oh, Mr. Codsworth. How's it going, man? Ah, good morning, sir. Your coffee. 173.5 degree Fahrenheit. Actually, let me go ahead and turn on... Okay, the... Huh? What the heck? Brewed to perfection. Okay, I don't know why the ah, things aren't today's working. today's newspaper just delivered. Oh, you know why? Uh, and I'll actually tell you guys this. Uh, if you go into the settings and then you go into display, I think. Uh, my HUD opacity was down all the way. But you can change the HUD color. As well as, like, if I turn this up, it'll be green and stuff. And then you can also change your Pip-Boy light color. So, pro tips as well. Make sure, because this is going to drive you crazy, especially on console. Go into gameplay and then make it... Uh, all of these turn on and then turn save in Pip-Boy to five minutes because that's the lowest you can go So it, it auto saves as quick as possible because trust me Fallout is one of those games where you're gonna wish you save a lot very often Okay, so um, let's, let's see we've got some sugar bombs sugar bombs 100% daily value of sugar some milk what's in our fridge Ooh. Nuka-Cola ice cold Saddle up Salisbury steak. Graded A+. Plus. Hey, Codsworth. Codsworth. Hello? Oh, Enjoy your coffee, the baby's man. crying. Ah, oh, sounds like someone made a stick. I should attend to your show. Hello, Mr. Baby. Oh, you look know, at the baby. I was nervous at first, but Codsworth's really good this show. Alright, let's see what else we have. This is our bedroom. Can we watch the TV here? Let's talk to our wife. Hey, hon. Wow, look at you. How'd a girl like me ever get so lucky, huh? Hmm. More of the same. Okay, so here we sad. have our vault -Tec employee. Good morning, vault -Tec calling. Ah, uh, good morning. Good morning. Man. Isn't it? Just look at that sky out there. <clears throat> you can't begin to know how happy I am to finally speak with you. I've been trying for days. It's a matter of utmost urgency, I assure you. Um, I'm here now. I'm here now. So you are. <laughs> so you are. Now, I know you're a busy fellow, so I won't take up much of your time. Time being a, uh, mm -hmm, a precious commodity. I'm here today to tell you that because of your family service to our country, you have been pre-selected for entrance into the local vault. Vault 111. Well, that's good to know. Uh, sounds great. Sounds great. Oh, it is. Believe you me. Now, you're already cleared for entrance in the unforeseen event of uh, total atomic annihilation. <laughs> I just need to verify some information. That's all. Sure. Sure. Let's do it. Splendid. Splendid. Now, uh, <clears throat> let's see. Okay, so here we get to pick our special and our name. And what I'll do, I'll try and find, I think there's a Reddit post of, like, which names, because if you guys don't remember, there's, like, a thousand or so names that if you have Codsworth as a companion, he'll actually say that name. And uh, most normal names work, although spelling, I think, sometimes can mess it up. There's also a few really interesting ones. I know uh, John Cena is actually one of them for some odd reason. But uh, we're just going to go, hmm, I'm going to go with the easy one. Let's see if just John works. As for the special, this is going to be tough because we don't have as many points as we would have had in previous Fallout games. Now, granted, we can always increase these as the game progresses. 
So I think I'm going to go with six strength. I want a pretty strong character because I like to hoard a lot of things in the game. So that'll definitely help there. Um, obviously, we're going to bump up our intelligence. Intelligence obviously gives us more experience points. That's always helpful. Uh, luck is measured in your critical hits as well as fortune. Mm, that I don't know about luck. I mean, luck will probably be helpful. I don't know if I really want it. Ooh, the, this one, the agility is the ability to sneak. I want to put that up a little bit. Charisma. Now, this one, I might want to put this one to five just because I want to be able to persuade a lot of people with the dialogue. Endurance, I'm definitely going to pump this to at least five, I think, for now. Because if I remember correctly, it affects your total health. So, like, the more endurance you have, the more health, if I, if I remember correctly. And then perception. This one is VAT. Now, I will say... Uh, I'm going to try and play this on survival mode, which is like the hardest of the hard. And I'm going to try my best to not use VATS as much, just because uh, I, I know it's part of the game and everything, but I enjoy the skill of actually like getting the headshots and things like that. However, since I am playing on survival, I may need perception here. And I do know this is kind of, this is not really a spoiler, like really early on you can get a perception bobblehead, which will bump that up to four, or it will just give you one more. So I'm thinking that we can... Instead of just spending four in perception, because four, if you didn't know, you can get the lock picking uh, perks, which is going to be helpful, especially for people who like to get and search places and get items. But uh, I think this might be, hmm, I might pump endurance down one and then give me one more intelligence, because the more experience, obviously, the quicker we can level up. You know what, I'm going to leave it as this, and since I'm actually switching to PC in like a few days, obviously once it comes out, what I want you guys to do in the comment section, you know, let me know what you're going to be using, as well as, you know, what you think is the best special, like, loadout. But I'm just going to do this, and we'll see how it goes on Wonderful. the PS4. That's everything. Uh, just going to walk this over to the vault. Congratulations on being prepared for the future. Um, okay. thanks again. <laughs> hey, it's peace of mind. That's worth a little paperwork, right? Yeah. For you and Sean, no price is too high. <laughs> Good answer. I have my moments. Okay, so let's go talk to the baby. Mr. John, Sean oh, it does work. changed, but he absolutely refuses to calm down. I think he needs some of that paternal affection you seem to be so good at. So as you saw, uh, he did say Mr. John. So that's, uh, if you guys want that name... You know it at least works. All right, let's play with Sean. How are the two most important men in my life doing? Spin the mobile a bit. He loves that. Hey, how's my little guy? Much better now, huh? Listen, after breakfast, I was thinking we could head to the park for a bit. Weather should hold up. Will it be like that night in the park a year ago? <laughs> <laughs> I like this. I like the sarcastic responses. Codsworth? What's wrong? So far the uh let's just see what's over here, but so far the voice acting is actually like really, really great. Followed by Yes, followed by flashes, blinding flashes, sounds of explosions. Uh oh. We're uh, trying to get confirmation. What? We seem to have lost contact with our affiliate stations. We do, oh, no. we do have we do have coming in. That's um Confirmed reports, I repeat, confirmed reports of nuclear detonations in New York and Pennsylvania. My God. Oh my God. We, we need to get to the vault. Now! I've got uh -oh. Sean. Let's go. Residents of Sanctuary Hills, if you are registered, evacuate to Vault 111 immediately. They still falling? Who cares? Just help me pack it up. Man, this is nuts. Back to the gate. All participants check in there. Looks like this is where we have to go. Um, hey there. You don't get it. I'm going in. You got some. Oh, look at the vault that guy. Oh, Jesus. Uh, well, we need to get in. We're on the list. Infant, adult male, adult female. Okay, go ahead. Thank you. 
Good luck, man. You two, follow me. God help Come us on. All. What's gonna happen to all those people outside We're the doing gate? Everything we can. Now keep moving. Sir, we need to send you down to the vault. Step on the platform. Step on the platform in the center. Almost there. We're gonna be okay. I love you. Both of you. We love you too. Holy oh crap. Hold oh. on! Oh my god, the sound wave's coming. Oh my god. Hey there. We did it. For God we made milk. it. We're okay. Where? We're safe. Everyone, please step off the elevator and proceed up the stairs in an orderly fashion. No need to worry, folks. We'll get everyone situated in your new home, Vault 111. A better future underground. So we just. Yes, up the stairs. I can't believe it. If we left a minute later. No, we no. Don't, be. don't get caught up thinking about that. You're safe now. Oh, that's over here. Everyone, Sarah. just head up these stairs and through the door there. Oh, we gotta go this way. For you. This way, please. All new residents, please proceed no. in an orderly fashion. This way. This one's good. Step over to the table and take a seat. You'll this need way, your seats before uh, we can take you further. Thanks. Just what now? Way. Just follow the doctor here. He'll show you where to go. All right, you. Follow me. Come on, Doc. Pick See? up a seat right over there. This is our new home. Oh, you're gonna love it here. This is one of our most advanced facilities. Not that the others aren't great, mind you. It's gone. Our home. Everything we had. My mother and father down in DC. Oh god, honey. What if they could make How long do you think we'll be down here? Oh, we'll be going over all that in orientation. Just a few medical event. items we have to get the through first. Is designed to be Just checking everyone Let's off the list as they come in. Prepared for the future, right? Such a lovely view you have. These are cryo sleep. You'll see this as your new home. Pods, I guess. Hey, follow me. Just step in here and put your vault suit on. and depressurize you before we head deeper in the vault. Just relax. Okay. Time for a whole new life. Resident secure. Occupant vitals normal. Procedure complete. In five, four, three. gonna happen. Wow. Man, 
and that's messed up. <coughs> I was not expecting that. Come on, come on! Oh, God! I'll find who did this. And I'll get Sean back. I promise. Okay. Is that it? Okay, we gotta... Okay, the marker, the compass is on the bottom. Anything in here? Some more pods. All right, let's just go this way, I guess. <coughs> Malfunction in emergency exit door override. Please contact your vault tech maintenance representative for service. Holy crap! Got a rad roach. Oh. Actually, what's over here? Oh, we have a, t oh, a stem pack. I'll take that. So there's actually a new... As you can see, there's a new inventory system, which is way better. It's on the terminal. Okay, operation protocol. Okay, nothing... I don't think anything too important is on here. Uh, anything else in here? We can get a chair? No, we can't. Ooh, let's take some rad roach meat. Sure, why not? Giant roaches? What the hell? It's another terminal. Um, we can take a toaster. Let's just continue and see where this goes. Actually, this isn't the right way. <laughs> just got. <laughs> That's funny. Where is everyone? Oh god. So I'm kind of thinking this is... It's like the opposite of Fallout 3, where now you're the father looking for the sun. Is this all that's left? Oh, we got a gun. I'll take that. Ooh, more stem packs. Open the tunnel. So I'll take some cigarettes. Why not? What the hell is this? Oh my god. Look at that gun. Oh, it's a master lock. Wow. Holy crap. That's a big gun, though. We're going to have to come back for that. <laughs> we have these bats on the damn red roach. Oh, that's the uh, the new vats, as you can see. Ok, 
because now the uh, the vats actually, as you can see, it slows time down. It doesn't actually freeze it. Oh my god. And you can actually yes. melee with um, with your gun out by hitting, well, it's RB on, on the PS4. Take all this meat. But yeah, it's uh, some pretty cool features. Jesus. Well, at least we have a lot of meat now. Let's go ahead and take this. initiating that's good all right so here we have the pip boy here's our status and we have our inventory uh, data the map and here's a quick overview of the map it doesn't actually go like the entire screen you have to sort of scroll around but you can see it's a, it's a fairly big map plus you can actually go as I've come to figure this out you can actually go especially down here on the bottom this line does not mean that's the end of the map. You can go like, there's actually parts like out here, which are pretty crazy. Okay, let's activate the door. You got a pretty cool animation as well for the, for all like vaults. Vault door cycling sequence oh, the music. Please let's go. Stand back. All right, so that is it. Now we can obviously change our appearance if we want to. You can change your name or special and all that stuff. Uh, I'm gonna just let's exit the vault. Enjoy your return to the surface, and thank you for choosing Vault Tech. Well, that's a cool gun. If the conspiracy theorists are to believe Earth has been visited by an alien species. Hmm. Okay. That's uh that's interesting to know. Now we can adjust, as you can see at the top left, you can adjust how far you want the camera to be back. It's fairly simple to do. Okay, so that's actually the neighborhood we lived in. And then you can see there's the uh, the Red Rocket gas station. Man, I love this music. I'll show you guys on the map here. We're actually at the top left. Whoops. Uh, we're on the top left here. So you're basically working your way down. We're going to head down to our home, though. Let's see what we can find. I will say, the world does look pretty damn nice. 
may not be as nice as some other games out there, but it's still beautiful. Okay, you can sprint. This obviously takes your action. Oh, look, it's Codsworth. As I live and breathe. Oh, it's, it's really you. Oh, what happened, Codsworth? Codsworth. happened to the world? The world, sir? Well, besides our geranium still being the envy of Sanctuary Hills, I'm afraid things have been dreadfully dull around here. Things will be so much more exciting with you and Mrs. Beck. Where is your better half, by the by? They killed her. She can't be dead. She can't be. I'm in a dream. I'm in a bad dream. Sir, these things you're saying, these, these terrible things, I, I believe you need a distraction. Yes, a distraction to calm this dire mood. It's been ages since we've had a proper family activity. Checkers, or perhaps charades. Sean does so love that game. <laughs> Is the lad uh, with you? Uh, he's been kidnapped. Sean's been kidnapped but I'm going to find him I'm going to get my son back it's worse than I thought mm -hmm. you're suffering from hunger induced paranoia not eating properly for 200 years will do that I'm afraid <laughs> 200, 200 years? years what are you a, a bit over 210 actually sir or oh, give or take a little for the Earth's rotation and some minor dings to the old chronometer. <laughs> that means you're uh, two centuries late for dinner. <laughs> You've got jokes, eh? <laughs> Perhaps I can whip <laughs> you up a snack. <laughs> uh, you okay, Cods? You're acting a little bit weird. What's wrong? I... I... Oh, sir, it's been just horrible. Two centuries with no one to talk to? No one to serve? I spent the first ten years trying to keep the floors waxed, but nothing gets our nuclear fallout from vinyl wood. <laughs> nothing! And don't get me started about the futility of dusting a collapsed <laughs> house. And the car! <laughs> the car! How do you polish rust? Oh, Codsworth. Uh, stay with me. Stay with me, pal. Focus. Uh, I'm afraid I don't know anything, sir. The bombs came and all of you left in such a hurry. I thought for certain you and your family were... dead. I did find this hollow tape. I, I believe the missus was going to present it to you as a, as a surprise. But then, well, everything happened. A holotape? What's on it? I believe it's a private message for you. My etiquette protocols would not permit me to play it for myself. Any standard holotape reading device should be able to play it back. Oh, like that pip boy on your arm. How that convenient, should work right? Brilliantly. Alright. Now, enough feeling sorry for myself. Shall we search the neighborhood together? Uh Mrs. sure. And young Sean may turn up yet. Sure. Alright. Uh huh. Okay, so let's go ahead and listen to the hollow tape. Oopsie! <laughs> no, no, no! Fingers away. There we go. Okay. Just say it. Right there. Right there. <laughs> Yay! Hi, honey. Listen, I, I don't think that Sean and I need to tell you how great of a father you are, but we're going to anyway. Isn't that right? Oh, God. You are kind and loving. <laughs> Funny. That's right. And patient. So patient. Is that a blow fly? Patience of a saint, my mom used to say. It is. Oh. Why the hell does a blow fly have a toy alien? With Sean and us all being home together, it's 
been an amazing year. But even so, I know our best days are yet to come. But everything we do, no matter how hard, we do it for our family. Now, say goodbye, Sean. Bye-bye. Say bye-bye. Come on. <laughs> bye, honey. Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Burn him down, Codsworth. Burn him down. Oh my god, Max. Oh. Those things, they do... I don't know, they do some pretty... Pretty good damage. Alright, we're good. I've taken radiation damage, damage, reducing your max health. Okay. Hey, Codsworth. Mr. John? Isn't here either. They're, they're really gone, aren't they? Well, Sean's out there. Sean's out there, Codsworth. I need to find him. What about Concord, sir? Plenty of people there. And last I checked, hmm. they only pummeled me with sticks a few times <laughs> before I had to run back home. I th they don't seem very nice then. Thanks for your help, Codsworth. Good luck, sir. You'll find young Sean. I know you will. I shall remain here and secure the home run. Okay. So now we have to go investigate Concord. Where's that at on our map? It's all the way down here. Okay. I kind of like the fact that this map has a lot of, like, water areas. And although I th think the water... Yeah, the water gives you radiation... But there's a perk that you can actually get to not do that. I'm sure there's a lot of, like, interesting places to explore, though. Like, under the water. Especially the fact, if I show you guys the map here, this entire right side of the map is basically water. So, I'm wondering what's on that island out there. There's got to be some, some cool stuff. Okay, so there's the Concord, and here's the uh, this red rocket. Oh, there's dog meat. Hey, buddy. <coughs> Hey, boy. What are you doing out here all by yourself? You lose your owner, buddy. <laughs> In the bush. Nice. <laughs> okay, then. Let's stick together. Oh, and now we have a companion. And then you can give him commands and all that. Let's go check out... What's in here? Anything worth it? Doesn't look like it. Now, you gotta remember, in this game, there's a lot of stuff you can pick up. Like, I'm going to pick up all of this. Just because you can break them, break it all down. Like, if I go here to the workbench, maybe this isn't the best. Well, actually, yeah, you can break the duct tape down to get adhesive and cloth. You can tape or break the gold watching down, get gear, uh, gold and springs. And you're going to need that stuff to... What are you barking at? You're going to need that stuff to make uh, better things, you know, down the line. So... Ooh, pre-roll money. Nice, nice spot there. Anything else in here does not look like... Ooh, actually. Cap stash, I'll take that. Oh, we got a crispy squirrel bits, why not? And some more pre-roll money, okay. Anything in here? Nope. Now you can, like previous Fallout games, listen to your radio. However, I don't think I can do that just because... Dog, let's go this way. Just because of copyright, so... Unfortunately... What the hell are you get? A mole rat. Really? Really, doggy? Holy crap. Jesus Christ. These guys come out of the ground. Alright, now these guys you gotta be aware of. These will mess these are like the new Cazadors. They are so annoying. Them and even the blowflies. You think blowflies wouldn't be too bad, but no. Oh my god, the accuracy. I am garbage on console. Oh god. All right, let's head into Concord and see what we shall find. Oh, 
Oh, leveled up. Awesome. Let's go ahead and I'll show you guys the perk chart while we're here. So here is the perk chart. Obviously, there's all your specials up at the top. And then as we go down, you can see, obviously, the ones that we have uh, like this that aren't like whited out. Those are the ones we can get. And these are the ones that we do not have. Now, it still tells you like what they do. So you can, you know, know and plan out what you plan on doing with your points. For the first one, um, hmm, you know, I think for the first one, you know, having pistol do, or having pistols do more damage might not be a bad option. Although I'm thinking toughness because we gain 10 damage resistance. I'm going to go with that. Seems like a fairly solid choice. And on that note, I'm going to go ahead and end this episode right here. Let me know in the comment section how long you want these episodes to be. I'm thinking between like 30 minutes to an hour. That's like the good sweet spot, I think, that many people uh, will enjoy. So next episode, we'll obviously go ahead and see what's in Concord, what Concord has to offer us. But thank you guys for watching. Again, just leave a comment if you do want to be entered to win a copy of Fallout 4 for the PC. And as always, see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace.